Today, I'll be showing you how to make acrylic signs, covering everything from materials you'll need, how to source them affordably, font selection, and the settings I used. It doesn't matter whether you have a CO2 laser or a diode laser. I'll also be mentioning things that can go wrong while doing this, which you don't want to miss. Plus, we'll discuss cost-effective options and potential variations for your project. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Let's jump in. First, we look at what you need to do a project like this. You need something for your first layer, out of which you would be cutting out your letters. In this case, I'm using 2mm or 1 by 12 inch thick matte black acrylic sheet. Then you need something for the secondary layer, which is what goes below the first one and becomes your text. You have multiple options here. You could use acrylic or vinyl. Acrylic with a mirror finish appeals more to me. Next thing you need is the glue to put it all together. You would also need good selection of fonts to get going. Where to get these? You could get the acrylic on Amazon. They have options that go as low as $2.30 for black glossy acrylic sheets. On Home Depot, you can find large sheets that cost around $6 per square feet. Regarding the thickness of the sheet, if you could get a 1x12 inch sheet, go for it. Else use a 1x8 inch sheet. Also, calculate the per square feet rate. For example, this one over here is 2 feet by 3 feet, which is 6 square feet and cost $45, which is around $7.5 for a square feet. And this one over here is 2 feet by 4 feet, which is 8 square feet and cost $50, which means it's around $6 for a square feet. Next is the glue. You can use weld on 3 or 4. These are acrylic cements that melt the piece and welds them together. You can get them for around $13 for a 4 ounce bottle. You'll also need a special applicator for applying them, but don't waste money on those and get a syringe from a local store. And if they have out of date stock, you might get them for free. You could also use super glue, but the bond separates over time. Next is the font. There are two options here, regular and stenciled. If you want to make things easy, use stenciled fonts. Head over to 1001fonts.com and type in stenciled. Now get over to this bar and type in the text you would be using and hit enter. Now click on the free for commercial use button and you'll be able to preview your text in multiple fonts. Download the one you like and install it. I'm using Lightburn for designing. You could use any design software and export as SVG. I'll draw a rectangle first to mark the outer dimension of my sign. I'm making a 12 by 5 inch sign. Then I'll draw another rectangle which is 11 by 4 inch and I'll center them and add it to a tool layer. I'll now design everything within the inner rectangle so that I get half an inch border around my design. Now I'll type in the address 221B over here, change the font to the one we downloaded and then type Baker Street down here. Now I'll add another rectangle here, 1 by 12 inch thick and 11 inches wide. I'll center it and move it here. Now we have our design. Let's turn on fill here and this is how our design is going to look. To give you a better idea, I'll add another rectangle below this one and this is how our sign would look like. I'm using my Xtool P2 to cut this out. So I have exported the design as SVG and I'm using XCS to cut it. I'll mirror the design and keep the front side of my workpiece facing down to eliminate any smoke stains. This is a 55W CO2 laser and I'm using 100% power at 19mm per second speed to cut 2mm thick black matte acrylic. If you're using a diode laser, try 100% power at 400mm per minute on a 40W, 100% power at 280mm per minute on a 20W, 100% power 130mm per minute on a 10W, and 50 mm per minute on a 5 watt. These settings can vary based on your laser and material, so do a test before you work on the actual project. If you want to use regular fonts, create your design and cut it out as usual. But make sure you collect the inner pieces of the cut letters. Now, if you're using Lightburn, convert your design to paths, then delete all the outer lines and keep the inner ones or use any design software to get these. Now you have to run this file on the second layer of acrylic that goes on the bottom using low power settings. This will give you marks at places where you need to place the inner pieces. How did you do that? 
inner peace. If you want to learn lasers with Lightburn, let me tell you about our Lightburn Masterclass course. Now I know what you might be thinking. Is this just another course? Well, it's not. What makes this course different is the weekly live training and the one-on-one -on -one support we offer in the course. What more? We also offer a money-back guarantee. So if you don't like the course, you could get your money back. No questions asked. I'll leave the link in the description. Do check it out. Now let's get back to the project. If you have a CO2 laser, you can cut all kinds of acrylic with it. But if you have a diode laser, cutting clear and color acrylics is not so easy. The good thing about these signs is that they have simple shapes. So you could use a knife and a ruler to cut the second layer of acrylic. You make a deep score on the acrylic and then align the cut with your table edge and then break it off, just like you do glasses. If you want to cut the letters out of a color sheet on a diode laser, a workaround is to cut it out of black acrylic and then use spray paint to give it the color you want and then give it a coat of clear after the paint dries to protect it. To glue the acrylic together, fill a syringe with weld on 4 or 3. Place the cut piece on top of the bottom layer and apply the solvent onto the edge. Just a tiny bit, do not apply too much. If you use too much, it will spill out onto the visible areas and damage it. If you use a tiny bit, the solvent will be absorbed into the space between the pieces and it will weld them together. You don't need a lot of bonding for this as there won't be any loading on these parts. Just make sure the edges have no gaps. Also, if you're using regular fonts, glue the inner pieces first before you do the main piece. Now, there are a few different variations you can try for the back layer. One is to use acrylic sheet with a mirror finish. You can get these in different colors. I have golden one here. I like how all of these mirror finishes look. Next, you can use wood or veneer to finish the back. This is also a more affordable option. You could also use color acrylic to do the back or use a white acrylic and throw in some lights behind it to make the sign glow. You could also use the technique to create signs for businesses like this one. I would also suggest you keep all the letters you cut out. If you work on enough signs, maybe you would be able to repurpose them for a different project. How much would this cost you? You could make three signs with a size of 12 by 4 inches using one square feet of acrylic. Even if you purchase your acrylic at a rate of $9 per square feet, it'll cost you $3 for the top side. And if you use golden acrylic for the back side, it'll cost you around $4. And if you add up the other cost, you could make a sign for around $8 to $10. And this thing sells for $20 or more on Etsy. So that was all about making acrylic signs. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you found the video helpful, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please consider subscribing to learn more about lasers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be coming back with more laser stuff soon.